Hi, I'm Kay Kurd. I'm talking to you about the law and social media. I've got a smartphone and a law book, so I must be an expert. When you think about hacking, you always think about the massive super hackers who always seem to be talking about mainframes and hammering on keyboards and never use the mouse. I'm in, I'm in, I've, I've just hacked into the mainframe. In the real world, there's actually another kind of hacking. You can, in fact, get prison time just for social media hacking. So this young lad got a prison sentence for impersonating Selena Gomez and posting mean tweets about Justin Bieber as if from her. He got sentenced under the Computer Misuse Act as he hacked into her account to do this. Turns out a bit of Bieber banter is actually an offence. Banter, banter, banter! So much so that this guy got a 12-month prison sentence. Sentence. He said he was just doing this to prove how bad the privacy settings were. Imagine how bad his privacy settings are in prison. Eh? <laughs> what does the law say? Basically, using a computer or phone to take control of someone's account and change their status or comments. This kind of hacking is an unauthorized act in relation to a computer. And that's illegal. It doesn't matter what device you use to do it. Even if you were to use a cabbage to hack into someone's account, you could be busted. But there are other ways you can get yourself sent down online. I'm an internet cop. I've been exposing the different kinds of impersonation on the internet since the 70s. Hi. Fraud is a person knowingly making false representation of someone with the intention of causing loss or risk of loss to another. Liable. Libel is publishing information that includes social media posts that would seriously harm someone's reputation. Nasty stuff, that. Very nasty. Trolls seem to be everywhere nowadays. The government describes trolling as the trend of anonymously seeking to provoke outrage by posting insults and abuse online. But online abuse happens all the time. What's the big deal? But, and this is a big but, <laughs> careless trolling can lead you to break laws and land you in a heap of horse poop. <laughs> Calling someone you've fallen out with a pedo or a racist, hold up. <laughs> Even if you put LOLs or ha ha or ROFL after it, does not excuse you. It's all LOL and LMAO until your ass is landed in court. LOL. This is not banner, it's defamation. And depending on the potential impact it could have on their reputation, it could lead to thousands of pounds in compensation being awarded to your victim. Trolling is all a bit of banter until Twitter jail turns into real jail. For example, a 21-year-old man was jailed for four months for posting the message, let's start banger riots on Facebook. Loving banter since 1989. With all the sexting and naked selfies that are being taken by everyone, we're making ourselves pretty vulnerable to those photos getting into the wrong hands. What does the law say? In the law, it's called revenge porn. Here's where I get serious because there is nothing about revenge porn that's funny, not even remotely. The law is defined as private sexual photographs or film of a person that's shared without their permission to cause distress. One man from Romford decided to share a series of intimate photos and videos of his ex-girlfriend. He was convicted of making revenge pornography and sentenced to six months in prison, 100 hours unpaid work, and ordered to pay £345 towards costs. Sentenced. If you know of someone who's posted or texted an intimate photograph of you that you don't want shown, then this brand new law protects you. You can report it and get them stopped. If you've got a sexual photo of somebody that they wouldn't want you to have, don't post it, don't show it, just delete it. And relax, okay, we're back in the room. I'm glad we've got that out. Just remember, sticks and stones may break my bones, but offensive tweets and pics can imprison me. If you wouldn't say it to their face, don't say it online. Bye.